hello guys and welcome to the channel thanks for tuning in so today i'm going to be showing you some must have accessories for your nintendo switch oled so without further ado let's start the video so item number one is a 64 gigabyte memory card you can get a bigger one if you want to but i think 64 gig for me is okay because i'm going to get most of my games in the physical form but still there is a few games that i do want so that aside then we have item number two and that is a hori d-pad joy-con so this doesn't have any of your rumble functions or anything like that it's just for the purpose of having a d-pad and i think that is very important for playing games like street fighter or blaze blue blaze blue whatever you want to call it or king of fighters or whatever because you need those inputs to be very precise for the Hadoukens and whatnot. So this was given to me by a friend of mine. Thank you so much for sending me this. It's awesome. It's a limited edition uh, Pikachu one and I love it. I think it goes really well. In fact, you know what? Let's try this. Let's put this on. Why not? I think it looks great aesthetically it goes well with the white joy-con really well i think so anyway let me know what you think in the comment section down below so guys i'm just going to do a quick uh, d-pad test for you guys and for myself and see how it fares wish me luck Japan. i hope i do play better <laughs> Yep, straight away I can tell with the D-pad, I have more control, more precision. Yep, perfection. Perfection. <laughs> no pun intended, right? Mexico. Wow. Look at that colour on Ken. It's magnificent. Magnificent tour. I don't know what setting this is on. Seems way too easy, but like I said, it's just a demo. We'll try one more stage and then we'll uh, we'll call it a <laughs> a day on the pass. Wow. This D-pad, this D-pad guys, what can I say? Finally feels fun to play Street Fighter. That's awesome. Next level D-pad guys. I love the D-pad. I love this uh, this little Joy-Con. Thanks buddy. I appreciate it. I won't say your name because I know you don't like me saying names. But anyway, let's carry on with the rest of the video.
Okay, so then we have accessory number three, and that is an extra set of Joy Cons. Now, you may think this is not important, but it's always good to have extra Joy Cons just in case uh, these ones die, have these charged up, and you can put these on. These are from my uh, original uh, switch, but they do the trick, so very important to have these. Um, so, yeah, that's that. So accessory number four, I'm not too keen on. It's not the best. This cost me £17, I think it was, from Amazon. And it did come with some clips that overran the top bit here. And they actually stuck onto the screen, which I didn't really like. So I kind of just snipped them off. But I will leave all the links uh, in the de description box down below for all the items that I have purchased. So let's try and put this in here. So yeah, it does feel decent in the hand. For myself, I think these um, these grips are a bit small for me. Uh, it would be nice to get something like the uh, a different version where you can actually swap out the grips. I forgot what you call them, but yeah, I'm gonna get those next. It does have a stand, uh, obviously because your kickstand is covered uh, by the grip itself. So you can prop it up if you want to, like so. Not bad. But then again, another thing that I don't like about it is when you flick this uh, kickstand up, it does actually scrape against the top of the switch, and I don't like that. So yeah, that was accessory number four. The next must-have is a controller, and this is the SN30 Pro Plus Bluetooth Gamepad by 8BitDo. 8BitDo. 8BitDo, 8BitDo. I'm sure you've seen plenty of these uh, so yeah if you do want to play a tabletop mode uh, and you don't want to use the joy cons and you need a controller this is the way to go this is an epic epic controller it's a really really good quality controller uh, my brother has the same one um, you can actually swap that out for some batteries apparently I'm not sure if that's that's true if it is, let me know in the comment section down below. If it's not, let me know either way. Um, because I'll just like to just charge it. It is USB Type-C, which is nice. You do get a cable in the box. I have so many of these cables now, but it's always good to have. The next accessory that I bought is the Hori Split Pad Pro. Uh, I always wanted one of these. Didn't get, manage to get around to getting one. I eventually got one. I did want the uh, gold... Uh, Pikachu one, gold and black Pikachu one, but they're all out of stock everywhere and I really wanted it so didn't really want to wait anymore. And this bad boy was on for 40 quid instead of 50, so I grabbed this. Now I am gonna need a blade, so just bear with me one moment. So let's open this bad boy up. I think I'll move the switch out the way. I think we're on item number five, I think, or six. I lost count. There's that many. But wow. This is actually quite light. I thought it would be a little bit heavier. Wow. Let me just show you. Um, how awesome this looks. You do get a programmable button at the back. It feels really good to be honest. Really, really good. Let's put them on the switch. Oh wow. 
honestly they actually feel really, this feels so good you don't understand oh my goodness it feels it feels just perfect so snug oh my god you know how awkward it is to use the normal joy cons compared, compared to this wow guys honestly this feels really really good this is probably my favorite thing out of all the things that i've bought so far i absolutely love these uh split pad pros i'm so glad that i bought these these are really really good honestly they are actually really good and you get a decent d-pad as well wow 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 yeah so all these buttons here are rubber um not really a big fan of the rubber buttons but the rest of the controller is really really nice i really like this uh monster hunter limited edition uh version of the hori split pad pro i'm really glad i got this even though i do want the pikachu one as well so i will pick that up at some point okay so the last item we have is a case by tom talk and i went for uh the the thick big bulky one and the reason for that is when i do eventually start going traveling and stuff um i can put a lot of stuff into this and this actual case comes with the ykk zips so as you can see it's pretty big from inside you can actually use this as a, a stand for your switch as well somehow like that i think but anyway i will make a separate video you do get some nice storage in there so you can chuck some joy cons in there whatnot just plunk them in there if that's what you want to do then you can do that quite easily all your joy cons uh you got spaces for your cartridges to go in here and then your switch will sit in there so here we have the switch let's see if it fits bit snug but yeah it does the trick it fits in there nicely it's solid so yeah guys that was my uh, nintendo switch accessory video your must have accessories for your nintendo switch oled let me know what you think please leave me a thumbs up leave some comments in the comment section and i'll check you on the next video Stay safe and peace.